Hello friends, welcome to Creator King. Come on, have a soda. How has your week been going? Mine has been a bit tough, a lot of work and stuff like that. But with a bit of triple ply toilet paper and the help of a wooden stick, clean all the sugary residues from your container. Get a small cardboard box from a product you've recently purchased and open it like a Christmas turkey with a pair of scissors. Proceed to cut the elongated pieces of cardboard along the folds already marked in the box. Did you know that it's easier to cut the cardboard along the folded lines? I just found out recently, with a permanent marker and a ruler, draw a right triangle on each piece of cardboard. Haven't you guys ever taken basic geometry? It's simply a triangle with a 90 degree angle. I think I know who failed math. Cut the triangle out because we'll use it to draw the other two that we need so that they're all identical like the twins in that Disney movie. Have you seen it or is it already too vintage for your generation? Find your super glue and apply a little bit all over the long sides of the triangle. Glue them to the Coke bottle until it looks like the Sith spaceship. You know, the bad guys from Star Wars? I always liked their ships better. They were more impressive than Jedi ships. Once our rocket is ready, proceed to create the whole anchoring structure so that it can reach infinity and beyond. First, we'll need a plastic PVC tube which will go inside the rocket, but it can stay loose like that, so we'll fix that little problem with a bit of tape. Wrap one end of the tape so that it's exactly the size of the bottle's opening. This will make sure it doesn't move even one millimeter. How about we start with the electrical installation? Peel one end off the wires you just cut until you can see its strands. Apply some hot glue to the base of the copper strands and insert the wire through the plastic tube. Make sure that the copper strands come out of the taped end. With some aluminum foil, make a ball around the wires creating a plug so that they are well secured inside the tube. Seal them with hot glue to make sure they don't move. With these wires ready, let's gather everything that's still missing from the electrical circuit. Take out a pencil and paper. We'll need one of these cylinders with wires, a snap with more wires, and a red villain button. Connect the red wire from the transformer to the red wire on the snap. Then the black wire from the snap and the green wire from the transformer are connected to each of the pins on the bottom. We'll need a tube of colorful candies. These sweets are very common in Spain. I think that here in the US, the equivalent would be M&Ms, only that those usually come in a bag. Just get a tube of something. After cutting the piece, we'll need to create a large hole to put our switch through. I think I'll break my diet with these deliciously irresistible fried snacks. Wait! It seems that I broke it when I drank that little soda at the beginning. Create a hole and put the electrical components into the container. Then connect the wires from the tube to the yellow wires from the transformer. With a few small pieces of tape, cover the connections between the cables to avoid accidents. I always end up wasting a lot of tape because it sticks to my fingers and then they stick to each other. A real mess! Apply some glue around the hole where the button is connected so it doesn't fall off. Put a little more glue near the end of the plastic tube and attach it to the Pringles can. With the battery connected, we'll be able to make sparks come out of the wire strands. Since many of us here have the aim of a one-armed man with Parkinson's, we'll create a scope with the lid to help us a little. You can use different colored markers to distinguish the area where you should aim. I just hope you have better aim than I do. Once our beautiful holographic scope is ready, apply instant glue to a small piece of the lid and glue it to the opening of the container. Lightly spray the inside of our space rocket with your grandmother's oldest perfume and mount it on the plastic tube. Do you want to try this baby already? I don't think this poor can of chips will ever see the light of day again. A little harder and we would have split it in two. Look how high it goes. That's how high planes fly. You can also make two and play with your friends to see which rocket goes further. Or continue to shoot down small objects with your gigantic projectile. It's like when Tom used a gigantic hammer to try to make a pancake out of Jerry. For the next invention, we will need a couple of cans of tripe. 
With fine sandpaper, scrape the images printed on the cans until they disappear completely. But we can't leave the cans with food in them, so empty the contents into a container and think about what you'll eat with it. Maybe some scrambled eggs would taste good. I've eaten worse. Use toilet paper to dry the cans after washing them with plenty of water. Using a permanent marker, mark lines where we'll need to cut. These will be where we put the food to cook. With a sharp tool, in my case a box cutter, cut along the marks without cutting all the way to the top. We already have the first piece of our conventional oven. Erase what is left over from the blue marker with a little solvent and toilet paper. We still need to repeat these steps with the other can. I remember when my grandma used to make my favorite food in her gigantic conventional oven. It looked like something out of a five-star restaurant kitchen. By the way, have I ever asked you about your favorite food? Mine is tacos, tortilla, meat, and lots of cheese. And that's how easy it is to make me happy. After cleaning the pen marks, we will sand the rough edges of the area where we cut with whatever sandpaper you have on hand. Even a nail file works. This will prevent us from hurting ourselves and keep our pizzas from containing pieces of aluminum. Make it as smooth as a baby's bottom. The slots where the food will go are ready. So let's move on to the next step, which is one of my favorite because it allows me to have a refreshing Coca-Cola. After all, I already broke my diet in the first invention. With a box cutter and something that works as a platform for support, cut the bottom of the can. We will need two of these pieces, which we will turn into the oven's burner. Make a few small cuts around one of the pieces. With a pen, mark dots on the second piece to know where to poke holes so that the burning flames can come out to heat our snack. Just thinking about what I'm going to cook here has already made me hungry. I only had an egg for breakfast, since it was the only thing in my fridge. Join both pieces of the tin can, making sure that it closes perfectly. We don't want the gas to leak out and go kaboom. Well, maybe you just burn your eyelashes. You'll need a lot of popsicles, but this time we recommend that you buy them. It would be cruel of us to tell you to eat ice cream in the cold weather. Apply cold silicone to the sticks once they are arranged the way you see on the screen, and then place more horizontally. We now have our raw material. Don't get excited because we won't be eating these Pringles. All we need is the lid, you gobblers. Trace the lid on the wooden board with a pencil and then cut it out with the tool of your choice. I do not recommend the box cutter since it's a bit difficult. This will be our Italian quality pizza wheel. To make it more aesthetically pleasing, smooth the edges with any file you find at home or steal one from your sister. Get a thin stick of wood and then cut it with a saw. Make a small mark on the wooden circle where we'll cut a groove for the stick we just cut. Apply super glue in the groove and attach the stick to finish our powerful miniature pizza peel. This time, use any flammable liquid such as white gasoline to light our stove since it's simpler than setting up a gas supply system. Once you've filled the syringe with fuel, add its dreaded needle and fill our lighter through one of its holes. Do you guys like the smell of gasoline? Delicious! Gas, gas, gas! As a great singer once sang. Put our fire source at the bottom slot and take out our product. You don't think I would prepare them from scratch, do you? I barely know how to make quesadillas. Even frozen, they look so appetizing. I'm so hungry, I could eat an elephant. Let's put this pizza in at once so that we can calm my hunger. How long do you think it takes to cook? About two minutes? I call this masterpiece of culinary art pizzini a linguini fettuccine. Delicious indeed. I also made a version of our little oven with a door for those with a more unique taste. What do you mean you don't know how to add that little door? You just have to stick it on. All me, all me. Thanks for watching our inventions made out of household items today. Follow my channel if you'd like to learn more about making simple yet incredible inventions. Also, click on the link to see more videos about my amazing inventions. Click on the link to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my videos. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial.